Disturbing trend on the rise in the pandemic, mental health providers say they are seeing more people with eating disorders. Here's medical reporter Liz Bonus with what treatment specialists say they hope you know. Liz. Hey guys, hello to you. We have some information today that is what we hope you know about your mental health. In this coronavirus pandemic, eating disorders on the rise. According to the International Journal of Eating Disorders, a couple things can make a difference in this. We have a graphic for you. The pandemic has sort of disrupted our daily routines and it can also have constraints on outdoor activities that can lead to stress, which impacts our sleep. And that can also lead to changes in your eating and your exercise. All those things make a difference if you have an eating disorder. Social restrictions as well, a big problem, and it reduces support and coping mechanisms. Now this whole pandemic can also cause isolation from others, and that can make a big difference when we reach out for support. Now, many people think of eating disorders as sort of a problem with food or dieting. In truth, specialists who treat these eating disorders say there are a number of different kinds of eating disorders. And while it's important to address eating for health purposes, they have very little to do with what we eat. Here is Dr. Paul from the Linder Center of Hope. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, you know, a lot of times this is just one of the ways that our, our emotional struggles will manifest themselves. Uh, and so, you know, it's not really about food. It's about anxiety. It's about how we feel about ourselves and our self-esteem. And, and it's about kind of who we are as a person. And a lot of times it's very easy for our sense of ourself to get tied up in that external appearance. And that's something our society does kind of push. Um, so it's a lot more than just food. Um, and, and also it's very much impacting our overall health when someone's struggling with an eating disorder, sometimes in a very dramatic way. Linder Center of Hope wants you to know they have several kinds of treatment, both individually and group. And if a loved one is struggling, you can reach out 513-536-4673 or visit local12.com and click on this story. We also asked Dr. Paul, how do you reach out if someone needs help? He says, have them talk to a primary care provider. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonas. Great ideas. We'll throw them back to you.